What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning back into Fishing with Austin and today we're going to be doing a 100 hour maintenance on our outboard motor. Pretty much what I do is I went on Parts View, one of my favorite places to get parts from. They are really good at getting stuff out timely and they do it accurately as well. We have everything here and let's go bring it out to our motor and get our motor ready. Okay, so a general rule of thumb is that you either service this motor every 100 hours or once a year, whichever happens first. Before checking your oil readings, the motor should not be run. It should be cold. It shouldn't have ran for at least an hour before getting your oil reading. And it will also put the most oil in the sump because all the oil is rested. This motor hasn't been ran all weekend, so I know all the oil is in the sump. I got it at a level position. So let's go ahead and get this cowling off and get into it. Okay, so now we're just going to be looking at just the general inspection of the motor. I'm just going to confirm my oil, 10W30. If you want to find out what oil you need, you can always look back here, 10W30, 10W40, and it will tell you how many quarts. Oil capacity, 4.3 liters is what you need. Okay, so for our first step, we're going to drain the oil out. I have a pump right here. You can get one of these at West Marine. Not too expensive. It has a, a nice hang on accessory on it so we're going to attach this and we're going to be inserting our hose into the dipstick down into the sump and we're just going to give her a couple of pumps you don't need to do that many pumps to get that oil coming out and while that's draining we're going to work on getting our spark plugs out okay so we got our oil draining while that's draining we're going to go ahead and get our spark plugs out. It's gonna be four Phillips head screws. One, two, three, four. Take these out and it will give you access to the spark plugs. All right, so now we have access to our spark plugs here. And we're just gonna gently wiggle them out. There we go. So we have our cover off, we got our spark plug wires off. Now we're gonna get a deep socket and get up in here and just do them one by one and install the new ones. Put the uh, plug wires back on, be good to go to continue our oil change. So if you'll notice on these spark plugs, they have something called a crush washer, which let me get a better view of it. This little thing right here. So if you're ever unsure about how tight to tighten these, you just want to tighten them until this crush washer feels crushed. You don't want to wrench down on it, but you want to tighten it until the wrench stops you, essentially. All right, everyone, so my camera mount quit working, so I'm just going to have to use the GoPro here, and hopefully you guys can see this and visualize this and follow along. These spark plugs have had it, man. They have had it. Oh yeah, that is so bad. Good thing we're changing these, right? If you take care of your motor, it will take care of you. Mm. That was a little tighter. Okay, we have our old ones out. Let's put our new ones in. I'm gonna come over here to my handy dandy box. I'll just go ahead and get all of them out. Save some time. And GK, can't beat these. These things are amazing. Okay, got these in my pocket. Try and do it from on or off to on. Now remember what I said. These have a crush washer on them. And pretty much when these are flattened, you can compare the washers. See how one is higher than the other? You can feel when this crush washer is flattened. And it'll stop you. Get it in there flush and as straight as we can go ahead and get her started all right so now when you're starting to get tight on it you're just going to start working it in and see how the wrench stopped me see how the socket stopped me i'm not going to turn anymore and she's in there 
And now we just gotta repeat that process three more times and we'll be done with these. There we go. Okay, we have our spark plugs in. Put our plug wires back on until you hear them pop. Yep, heard the click. There's the pop. There's the pop. Boom, just like that. Now we can put our cover back on. Let's do the fuel filter. So the fuel filter, what you can do is take it off the bracket here. That way you can actually work with it and work on loosening it. Okay, great. Now you may be able to do this and save your fuel. Yep. Keep her just like that. We go over to our parts box. We have our new genuine Yamaha fuel filter. Compare these. Look at that. And everything looks the same, so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in there. Just like that. We'll get our canister, pop her back over these fuel filters being loose and when these aren't tightened they'll suck up little air bubbles up underneath this and it won't allow you to get on a plane there won't be enough fuel pressure so now we have our new filter in there we just gotta put our nut back on and move on to the next portion What we could do is get this filter off while we're waiting on that oil to drain. So we'll go ahead and pack this full of paper towels. Pack it as much as we can. Just go ahead and pack this and get this ready. So when this filter comes, it's gonna spill. So go get our oil wrench. We have our oil wrench pliers. Oil filter pliers, not oil wrench. <laughs> Look at that, hardly any oil came out. Gotta love it. So yeah, just make sure you don't run the boat for a good while before changing your oil. And you're good, we're gonna put that there. And get our new filter. Nice and sealed. Don't want a lot. Then we're gonna put some oil around the edges so there's no friction when we're resealing this filter on there. Hand tight. It's pretty good. Pretty hand tight. Good to go. So we have our oil filter done. We're going to do a couple more pumps of our oil from the reservoir. Yeah, see we had a little bit more left. Alright, she's sucking up air bubbles. Yep. See these air bubbles here? She's about done, so... We'll get her pulled out here soon. Alright, so now we are done with our oil pumping. Oil pumping. Now we can set this off to the side. We're going to go ahead and put this back in and do the... Lower unit. So it's good to tilt this back so all the oil can just go right back to this rear drain plug. And we have our 
oil pan underneath. Got our flathead. There we go. See how it's barely coming out? Now we're gonna loosen this top one and it's gonna come shooting out. There we go, she's gobbing out now. Okay, so upon inspection of these mighty fine bolts, these seals are no good. But yeah, they, they're all frayed up, they're all tore up. Thankfully, they gave me some new ones. Looks like it's almost all drained. Okay, and now we have it all connected. We're just gonna pump until we start to see gear case fluid coming out of there. All right, the motor's level, now we pump. Once it does start to overflow and start to spill out the top, you kinda want to keep pumping so you can get all the air bubbles out of there. Now we're gonna get our screwdriver, put her up in there, tighten her up, and you immediately put this in there, so none comes out. Okay, now we gotta put oil back in our crankcase, and we will be all set. She'll be ready to go, hit the water. This we're putting in our oil now, Yep. Great, so now we have our oil in. We'll clean up, hook the hose up to it to the ears, and then we will run the motor, see how she sounds, turn it off, check the oil level, make sure everything's fine. So now, clean up. Okay, so we have the muffs going, full blast on the hose. Let's start her up. She works. That squeaking is an old grommet that's up inside the motor. I gotta change that thing out. Run smooth. All right, everyone, we got the cover back on her. We're all done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope my information was helpful. We didn't take the prop off this time around because I had already taken it off about a week or two ago and I didn't record it, so I can't put it in the video. So that sucks, but yeah, that's everything you need to do. Spark plugs, fuel filter, oil, gear case oil, the seals and spark plugs. I think I said spark plugs, but yeah, that's that's everything you need to do to, you know, annually, besides take your prop off and inspect it for a fishing line. You can also drop the boot and look at your water housing, your water pump housing, make sure everything's good, your impeller's good. So yeah, that's everything you need. Thanks for tuning in.